Ooh. Hey guys, it's your favorite Mr. Assassin to Squatch here. Just uh, checking out a little Raid Shadow Legends. Wanted to do the whole uh, Nishak, I guess that's, uh, or uh, Ganishak, I don't know. Uh, fusion pack. No, no, we want to actually go for that champ. Let's check him out. So in the Skinwalkers, finally got him to show up. Let's see if he's good. So it's a new fusion. Uh, so he's uh, Nishak Vermin Lord. So increases attack in all battles by 30%. Not the 33 we've been seeing, but not bad. Uh, let's see what the passive is. Passive, Rat Plague. Every time a bomb debuff is placed by this champion, detonates or is removed, place two poison debuffs. These debuffs are protected, so can't get rid of them. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Unclean Banquet. Five turns, bookable down to four. Tax all enemies. Has a 75% chance, bookable to 100, placing two bomb debuffs on each target. Then grants an extra turn. Damn. A bomb debuff placed by this skill on enemies whose max hit points is equal to or higher than 200k will deal double damage. Uh, can we say bosses? Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to see this guy. He's, he's good. Uh, shit. That's, a, that's incredible right there. Unclean Banquet. All right. Uh, Vermin Lord's Command. Four turns, bookable down to three. Attacks all enemies. 75% bookable to 100% chance of placing a 50% decrease attack. So it makes them weak. Also a 100% when booked. Chance of decreasing and detonating countdown of all bombs by one and increasing the duration of all poison by one. And then standard attack. Attacks three times at random. Each hit has a 40% bookable to 50% chance of placing a bomb debuff. Wow. Bomb debuffs placed on... Uh, by this skill enemies whose max hit points is equal to or higher than 200k will deal double damage. So uh, this dude is uh, in it to win it. You want somebody that deals the damage. Uh, this guy's bringing the heat. He looks uh, looks exceptional. All right, we do have, we can get this crap out of the way. Uh, not that. I want to go to the news. Let's go to the news. Boom. All right, so we just looked at him. We'll check out the fusion in a second. Four new Void Legendaries. Terrace, uh, Marich, Marichka, Marichka. Yeah, Marichka the Unbreakable, uh, Gorgid the Breaker, Tremaria, uh, so Dark Elves, Knight, Reverent, and two Banner Lords. So uh, let's check them out. So Banner Lords, we have Taurus and Marichka. We'll do Taurus first. The Fierce uh, increases ally crit rate 24%. Not bad. Um, this is a hit point void legendary, by the way. All income damage from skills is reduced by 50%. Holy shit. Um, that doesn't suck. And he's a hit point champ. When attacked, this, max, uh, this champion's max hit points will be decreased by 25% of the initial uh, attack's initial damage. Um, that's garbage, though. That makes me sad. Passive. Fierce Battler. When attacked, decreases the enemy's attack by 10%, up to 50% or 25% uh, against bosses. Occurs once per skill. Attack reduction resets after each round. Okay. Um, that is okay. Active places a fear debuff on all enemies from orcs, ogren, undead. Demon spawned at the beginning of each round for one turn. Debuff can't be resisted. That's not terrible. It's not a true fear, but fear's all right. Uh, let's see here. Five turns, bookable down to four for constant pressure, attacks all enemies, damage increases by 15% for each buff on allies, then increases the duration of all buffs. Okay. Heals his champion 5%. For each buff that had its duration increased, restores decreased max hit points equal to the amount of any surplus heal. Okay. All right. We can talk about this. Uh, Hero's Intercession, four turns, bookable down to three, attacks one enemy, places a stun debuff for two turns. Deals double damage to enemies whose attack is equal to or higher than this champion's attack. Okay. Uh, passive. Whenever the enemy attacks uh, Marichka the Unbreakable, attack that enemy using this skill. Okay, so that is the other new champs. So that's cool. Uh, shatter upon us. Uh, attacks one enemy, has a 40% chance of placing a 50% decrease attack. Each critical hit fills the turn meters of all allies. Not bad. And all this is based off of hit points. So that's fairly fresh. Now for Marichka. Uh, increase ally speed in all battles by 24%. That's pretty fresh. 
that's all battles, not just some, and it's higher than the standard 20 or 19%. So I'm digging that already. All right, she's a support. Uh, revives all dead allies, 50% hit points, and a 75% turn meter whenever this champion's killed. Okay, uh, so that's a passive. Places a block damage buff on all allies for one turn whenever an ally receives a bomb, poison, or hit point burn. If there are multiple champions on the team with this skill, only one will activate. Fair enough. Um, not bad, though. Uh, nurtured Friendship. Six turns, bookable down to four, removes all debuffs, then fills the turn meters of all allies by 15%, and fills the turn meter of each ally by an extra five for each debuff removed. Increases the resistance of all allies by five for each debuff removed. Grants an extra turn if five or more debuffs were removed. Uh, that's pretty fresh. If you can get the timing right and go a little bit after... Uh, a debuffer, you can hit that strong, and that doesn't go away. That just increases the resistance of all allies. Front or font of tenacity. Four turns bookable down to three. Fully restore any allies, decrease max hit points, then heals all allies by 40% of this champion's HP. Okay. Places a shield and a protected strength buff on all allies for two turns. Value of the shield is equal to 20% of this champion's max hit points. So that'd be 20, 30, 40% of uh, the heal and the shield as well and a cooldown down to three. So that's pretty great. United We Triumph attacks one enemy. One random ally will team up and join the attack. If ally joining the attack will always use your default skill. Um, if Terrace is on the same team, they will always be the one to join this champion's attack. It would be nice if they change that to Terrace will also join this champion's attack. That would be pretty... Pretty swanky. All right, and because I wasn't paying nearly as much attention as I should, I know it was a Dark Elf. Uh, that's Tremaria. That's the new one there. Let's see how she's looking. 23%. Okay, so we're already... It looks like uh, some strong Void action. I think that might have been what I looked over in the news. Let's see, your support champ as well, immune to sleep. Uh, fills his champion's turn meter by 20% when an enemy tries to place fear, true fear... Freeze, provoke, sleep, stun, or petrification on this champion. And if they try to put sleep, it doesn't matter. Shouldn't give a shit. Uh, beyond emotions. Five turns bookable down to three. Remove all debuffs from allies and fills their turn meter by 15%. I'm feeling a little bit of a theme here. Fills the turn meter of each ally by a further 10% for each debuff. In this category that was removed, fills the turn meter of each ally by a further 5% for any other debuff removed. Noise. So definitely can uh, swing up there. Not an extra turn, though. It is one of those things like you give it a take. Stagnation Sickness, five turns, bookable down to four, attacks all enemies, has an 80% chance of placing a stun debuff. That's bookable to 100. After attacking, and again, bookable up to 100% chance of decreasing the turn meter by 30% of each enemy without a stun. So um, not bad. Two chances on that to either uh, stun or decrease the stun meter, or uh, turn meter, so that's solid. And then uh, regular attack, attacks all enemies, has a 30% chance, bookable up to 50, of placing a 30% decrease speed, and a 30% chance, bookable to 50, of placing a fear debuff on enemies with 20% or less turn meter. So, all right, cool deal there. Let's see who's last but not least. Get off there. And who was the last one? Uh, in the Knight's Revenant, Gorgid. Let's see what Gorgid does. Knight's Revenant. There we go. There you are. Gorgeous George. Ooh. Um, somebody, I think uh, we found a Nutcracker. And uh, looks like he's ready to take on the Vermintide as his damn self. All right. Passive. So, no, uh, no enhanced the skills of the other team. Uh, but... Crack any shell passive has a 50% chance of this champion to roar 50% of the target's defense from each hit placed. Um, all right, bring the hate. Uh, Deadly Ballet. Four turns bookable down to three. Attacks one enemy. Will ignore strength and stone skin. Unkillable. Block damage. Increased defense. Ally protection and shield. Grants an extra turn if this attack kills an enemy. Okay. Um, pardon me, Mr. 103 speed and 1600 base attack. Bring it on. Uh, March of 10, 
four turns book will down to three. Attacks all enemies, decreases the turn meters of all ta- targets by 30%. Can't be resisted. Oof. Places an unkillable buff on this champion if it kills an enemy. So, uh, yeah, this dude, uh, he, ain't, he ain't just mad. He real mad. And uh, Breaker Sweet. Attacks one enemy twice, has a 30% chance of repeating the attack. Oof. Yeah, so um, this is a, a brain breaker for sure. Uh, definitely DPS and uh, worth it. All right. So we got that, the news. Uh, otherwise, the uh, Nishok Vermin Lord got the details there. Let's see what we have to do to actually fuse him together. Fusion. All right, so, and Raid's been doing this a lot. You don't have to get different types of champs. You just have to get a bunch of one. Uh, Risk Harm is a defense champ. Uh, This is for the Banner Lords new. Uh, Increase ally defense 20%. Places a counterattack on a target ally. And an increased defense on all allies. That's pretty cool. With a four-turn cooldown when booked. Tower above, tax all enemies, places a shield, uh, 20% of their max hit points based on defense every three turns, and attacks one enemy, 20% chance of placing the stun, bookable up to 30. Pretty good for rare, in all honesty. I mean, speed's 95, so that doesn't suck. And uh, defense is at 631, so, you know, he's uh, nothing crazy, but this is also at a level 40 champ. This isn't a level 60. If, uh, if we take a look at him... Go to Banner Lords. Let's check it out. Um, still up to 95, but the defense is up to 1200 at level 60. So definitely uh, definitely brings on the heat. And 16, almost 17k hit points. Smooth. All right. Now, fusions are what fusions are. Eshma for the Knight's Revenant. Uh, Venom for Blood is a passive. Heals this champion 3%. Of their max hit points whenever an enemy receives damage from a poison debuff. All right. Uh, languish, four turns bookable down, two, three. Attacks an enemy, 100% chance when booked. Decreasing the duration of all enemy buffs by a turn. And a 75, again, 100% chance of increasing the duration of all enemy debuffs. Um, wasting Affliction, bookable down to three turns. Attacks all enemies, has a 75% chance, bookable to 100, a place in a weakened debuff. Okay. And there's the poison. So attacks one enemy, base, uh, each hit has a 20% bookable up to 30, so hits twice, chance of placing a 5% poison debuff for two turns. So not bad overall. We see Endalia for the High Elves, increases all accuracy by 40% in battles. All right, three turns is uh, passive. Bookable to every turn. Counterattacks when attacked by enemies under decreased attack. Okay. And there we go. Five turns bookable down to three. Attacks all enemies. Has a 75 up to 100% when booked. Chance of place in 50% decrease attack based on hit points. I like this. And then attacks one enemy. 25% up to 50%. Chance of placing a provoke debuff uh, based on hit points. So she's not bad. And Morag Bronze Lock of the Dwarves. Dwarves tend to have some pretty heavy hitters. Uh, test this might. Passive. Counterattacks when hit all under a strength and uh, buff placed by this champion. So fairly specific. But uh, this is a defense champ. Uh, six turns bookable down to four Raider Captain. Teams up with two random allies to attack a single enemy. The allies joining the attack will always use their default skills. And grants an extra turn if the enemy is killed. This is typically for uh, legendaries. So it's nice to see that coming home. Little uh, little epic action. Outrage level. So four turns bookable down, two, three, attacks all enemies, places a 25% strengthen on all allies and damage based on defense. So that's where the passive kicks in. And then raw iron slab. Attacks one enemy twice. Each hit will ignore shield. Easy breezy beautiful. And then Trumbo. Last but not least for the Orcs. Passive defense, uh, or passive for this defense champion. Shrug off whenever this champion's attacked. 20% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs on this champion by one turn. 
and that's bookable up to 40%. Not bad. Uh, Wall of Muscle. Six turns, bookable up to, or bookable down to four, places a 50% ally protection on all allies except for this champ and a increased defense on this champ, both for two turns. Four turns, bookable down to three, Vigor Explosion attacks all enemies, removes one random debuff from all allies before attacking, like that. Damage increased by 5% for each debuff removed. Okay, so he can uh, definitely give that schmack. Uh, double whammy. Lastly, attacks one enemy twice. The first hit has a 30% bookable to 40% chance of placing a 25% weakened debuff for two turns. Second hit has a 30%, 40% booked chance of placing a leech debuff for two turns. So keeps him and the team in the game doing it. I mean, it's honestly, if a uh, orc and a dwarf had, uh, had some sweet lovemaking, I love the artwork on this one. And uh, the humans, they, they didn't fare so well. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, guys. So that is what's going on right now. We do have some of the tournaments to get. The Rat Master himself, Ice Golem Tournament, is going on right now. And you can participate in that. And as well as the Dungeon Divers event. So this is that two-for-one swing. You are killing the Ice Golem, getting a lot of stuff from him. And you're also picking up for two events. So good luck on that. Guys, I am Sass to Squatch, the magic sauce. You know me. And if you don't know me, like and subscribe. And if you don't like me, leave a comment and we'll see if we can make, gonna see if we can make it better or if I can just tell you to piss off. Guys, take care. Appreciate you watching. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.